In this video, I'm going to show you how to make a university grade calculator. So this is a more intermediate version of like an Excel spreadsheet version, I would say. So it involves two tables and we're going to use relations and um, roll ups to do this. But um, is it's easy to follow along. So stick with me. So I'm making two tables. So here we have modules and assignments. So in modules, I'm just going to put module one, module two, module three, module four and module five. I'm just going to do five. Um, and then I am going to add in some assignments. So let's do uh, dissertation, proposal, uh literature review and then let's just do final even though that's kind of american okay so the next thing we're going to do is we're going to turn this tags um property that automatically generates with the table and we're going to turn it into a relation so this relation is going to link to this modules table that we've just created so you might already have something like this in your workspace so if you do um just hang on and I'll show you how to link them. So uh so we're gonna type in modules and okay so it'll generate in a second yeah so there we go so this is assignments and then I am just gonna simply assign um assignments to each module so let's do these together so you'll know this for your own um university okay and then let's just do presentation and report okay so then we are going to now focus on the assignments. So now that we've added a module, I'm just going to put them there for now. So let's create a grade column. So this is going to be where we input our grade results after we have submitted an assignment. So not sure how it works in the US, but in the UK, um, grades are to 100 although it's very rare to get 100, so 70 is kind of a good grade to be aiming for. So I'm just going to input some grades here. Um, and there's also like specific grades that you can get. So you can't get like, oh, you might be able to get 77. I don't know. I haven't learned it. I think it's 77. Um, 85 is one you can get. 58. 60. Um, let's just do 72 and 58 okay so there are grades and then we're now going to add in the weight of the assignment so it will be helpful so this is also going to be a number property so let's call that weight uh yeah or waiting weightings uh of the assignment okay so here i'm going to turn this into a percentage because i want to make sure that certain modules um are adding up to 100 percent. so i'm just going to sort here and i'm going to sort by um module i got confused then because it was in the, it was in a different order yeah so dissertation 50 percent proposal 10 percent it should be 40 percent uh 100 percent because we only have one assignment there let's say they're both 50 percent the lab assessment 100 percent and then the presentation can be 70 and the report code okay so I've just made sure that in each module, the percentages are adding up to 100%. Okay, so now that we've done that, we're going to make a grade weighting column. So we're going to use formula here. 
Um, so if you're familiar with like Excel, this is kind of the same thing. So I am going to do our grade, so property grade, times by, so we're using the star here or the asterisk to, uh, as a time symbol, and then I'm going to times it by the weighting. So this is going to basically um, give me a figure that will, it's just like, basically say, for example, this work experience grade 72 is worth 100% of that module whereas the proposal for this one yeah i got 65 but it's only worth 10 percent of that module grade so it's just going to help us when we're doing our module grade in the modules table but if you're if you know what you're doing with um uni this should be uh fairly um not new okay don't really know what i'm about but anyway i do but i don't <laughs> Um, okay, so now we're going to go to the modules table and we're going to add in credits. So I am going to make this a number property here. So credits are, um, tells you how it's similar to weighting, but it's, um, credits are kind of more popular or more official, let's say. Um, so in the UK, I think anyway, um, credits usually add up to 120, at least for me and people that I know that is the case. However, it could be something different for you. So that's fine. Um, we've added in our credits. Now we're going to add in, we're going to add in a formula. So now we're going to basically Similar to grade weighting, we're going to work out the weighting of each module based on the credits. So this is going to be called module weighting. Okay, and to calculate this, we are going to do, so I've done, I've calculated the sum of my credits here. So that's important. If it doesn't add up to 120, you need to pay attention now because we are going to do property credits and we're going to divide it by the sum of the credits. So in this case, it's 120 for me, um, but just use this number here as your divider. Okay, and then now that we've done that, now that we know the module weighting, we can, we need to roll up the module grades. Okay, so because we have this relation here, in Notion, we can use rollups to uh, pull in data from that relation um, and see, well, yeah, the data, basically. So this is going to be called our module grade. Sorry, not formula. Rollup. OK, so we only have one relation in this database, and that is the assignments. We know that. So we're just going to click that and then we're going to roll up. Let me just check the grade weight. So that's the thing we calculated. And then we're going to sum it up. So basically, we're, at, we're basically getting um, the, well, yeah, the module grade, basically. So it's taking into account the weighting of each of your assignments for that module, dividing it. Um, by its weighting and then giving you like an average but also your module grade okay and then this is where it gets juicy now so using that information we are now going to work out our final grade so what this does is this formula is going to tell us our so this is our module grade but then this final grade is going to tell us the, like, so the only way I can explain this is, like, this module is only worth 15 credits, but we have 79.4. However, this 45 credit module that has 58 is going to impact more heavily due to its higher credits. So what we've got here is, like, the module grade, <clears throat> but not within reference to its actual weighting. I hope I'm not being too, like, um, obvious here. Okay, 
So we're going to do module grade times by the module weighting. Okay, because the module weighting is our credits divided by the amount of credits. But divided by the sum of credits, sorry. Okay, so now that we've done that, we can calculate the sum here. Okay, so in the UK, we have um, like first class, second class degrees. I'm sure that is um, translatable. So first class in the UK is 70 plus, and that is equivalent to a 4.0 GPA. So um, a 65 is probably a 2-1. Um, so a second a, de a degree, what is it called? A second class degree, I think. Yeah, which is very commendable. Um, so yeah, this here is your final grade. Not these numbers, but it's interesting to see like um, where the chunks of it come from. So if we manipulate the grades that we got down here, so let's say for this module three, we did better in our exams. Um we got 58 in both the exams so let's say that we got 85 in one of them so before we're looking at 21 but then we get 85 oops <laughs> we get 85 and now we're suddenly on 26 so like that's raised our um grade from a second class to a first class degree which is again very good so yeah um that is kind of how i use a notion to calculate my grades um okay so i've literally just uh copied in a degree classification boundary thing that i already had in another database in my own actually um so i'll just bring it up here one moment Okay, yeah, so here um, I can use this number here and compare it to this uh, UK degree classification boundaries. And it even has like GPA because my uni um, tells me my GPA as well. So I have to then go and look and figure out what is what. But um, it's just easy to remember that 4.070. is So yeah, this number here. And obviously you'll have like rounding systems in place. Um, and there are ways to round in Notion, and I can do separate videos on that later if that is something that um, is useful. I'm going to try and figure out how my uni rounds um, my grades, because I know they sometimes do round up, I think, if it's um, if it's going to benefit your grade. So, yeah, like I say, that is how to make a grade calculator in Notion. And if you don't fancy doing all this work, I have a template available and it's free and it'll be in the link in the description. So do check that out. Um, and it and it'll be basically the exact same as everything here. I'll even include this uh, degree classification thing um, for any uni students out there. And let me know if this is helpful. Let me know if there's anything um, that you would change about it. If it's too overkill or if it's not overkill enough. I think it's pretty standard, to be honest. Um, but yeah, let me know. Thank you for watching and I hope you found this helpful.